My name is Johan, and uh, um, I come from Sweden. I've been in the teaching for about six and a half years. And um, uh, I wasn't really looking, looking for a teaching. I just happened to come across it through a friend. And yeah, I was the... That's the most, that was the best thing that ever happened to my life. I could see that all, all I was interested before was like cross skiing, running and playing guitar. <laughs> <laughs> that was my three favorite things to do. And I saw that, uh, yeah, there were also other things that I could do in life. <laughs> and that was, it was so, yeah, life just opens up so much by coming to the teaching and uh, I have seen that, for example, playing music is much more effortless now. Before I was, I can see now in Afterhand that I was quite afraid to sit on stage and, and playing for people and I was thinking what would people think about me and I must play the right notes and the right tunes and people must like me and I have to look this and that and I was kind of wrapped up in the thoughts and I couldn't really connect to people in the way I really wanted and I, in the way I knew that it was possible. But by being the, in the teaching and relaxed with all these things, they sort of fade out and left is just a joy to you to play music and after playing for like 10-15 years I, I had this thought that I will probably never be able to to not uh, to not like play gu guitar I had this thought that I have to play it the rest of my life because what I've learned so far I can't just I can't just stop now I just I must use this in a way and that was a belief system that, that was very strong, but about around one year ago that I, I was reflecting on it and it, that was like, it was gone. It felt like for the first time in my life, I felt that it was fine that I could just leave, leave the guitar and the instruments just aside and never play a tone and that would be totally fine. I would be happy regardless. And then it becomes much more fun and enjoyable to play and um, I've also seen that uh, one thing about the physical body that I ha that I thought that I have to keep myself in in good shape and I wanted to strive to get a good body and look good and have this amount of muscles and yeah pr pretend to be a good a good have a good body in front of other people and um, yeah, that was something that I that I strive with quite a lot, and uh, and that has also just totally shifted. That was I I realized that it was just a belief system that I it doesn't matter what I think, and it just has just faded away. And that is very beautiful, a very beautiful insight, I think, because yeah, it's. It's much more easy to just relax with all these thoughts and I can just go go along in life anyway, regardless. And that has come about through just being in the teaching and uh, taking short moments, writing to my trainer and just opening up all these horrible thoughts I think that I have and all those kind of secrets that are in there somewhere but I don't really know where somewhere there is. But I think they are somewhere. <laughs> I listen to talks and uh, watch videos, copy text. Copy text is very, very good, I find, for me. When I am wrapped up in, in all different kind of thoughts, I take a text and copy it. So instead of struggling in my mind and ponder and think about things, I just gently keep the focus in copying the text and I can see that... It's like a reset button and I'm, I'm aligning myself with 
my true nature. And um, also being in service has for me been very, very valuable. Because then I'm in, I put myself in a place where the teaching is sort of cooking. And, um, yeah. yeah, it makes it much more simple than thinking that I'm going along my own way and doing it in the way I think it should be. It's just being here and seeing all the greater beings around me and just shining everywhere. Just one short moment here and there and all of a sudden it's just a continuous flow that is very, very beneficial and beautiful. So pouring myself and the energy I have into service uh, opens up and thrive and flourish my life.